YouTube. My name is Suzid, and I have my friend here. My name is Akash. Uh, and we'll be watching WandaVision today. Uh, we have both watched episode one. It looks very interesting, and there are lots of things that we are very interested to see. I have watched all the episodes, pretty much. Uh, the ones that I've aired, there is one more episode to go that I'm still yet to watch. So we'll uh, see how and uh, what Akash thinks about the rest of the episode as we get to the finale. Um, we'll be watching it together on Disney Plus um, and we'll just uh, do a brief uh, review uh, after some of our reactions for the episode and then we'll just uh, do a bit of a rating and uh, what we think about the episode, what are our predictions and things like that and we'll go on from there. Yeah, I sh I yeah, yeah, I should say, I actually, like, Sajid's watched everything. I have not watched it. Um, I have, I haven't watched anything in Marvel since, like, I mean, uh, I guess since, uh, what's it called? The last, the last Endgame. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess Endgame, sorry, the last, last Avengers uh, Endgame. Um, so I'm super pumped. I watched the first episode, and it wasn't great, <laughs> I thought. I, it was like, I mean, they, they, you know, they sprinkled in some stuff. But, um, yeah, what, what did you, what did you think? Oh, also, I should say that, uh, I, I, I really like this one. I think there's another one coming out with like with the Winter Soldier and uh, oh, what's his name? I forgot. I mean the new Captain America. I don't know. Uh, I forgot his name. Yeah. Falcon. Um, so I'm not su I'm not actually super excited about that one at all. Actually, I didn't think. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Not super psyched about that one. But this one's super. I, I feel like I'm very excited about it. But yeah, what did you think of the first one? The first episode. Yeah, say? the first episode was fairly hit and miss for me. Like I would. I know a lot of more information from the show than the first episode, so I can just say that things pays off. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, and when I actually started watching the first episode, I was also very confused. I had no idea where this was going or what even is this, you know? So I was just like, yeah, we'll, we'll wait and see what happens in the next few episodes. Um, but I'm surprised. You haven't watched Spider-Man because that came out after Endgame. I thought you watched Spider-Man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. I did watch Spider-Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yeah, that's that should be an interesting thing. Yeah. I, I remember the, the ending was crazy, or the post-credits. So oh, yeah, that's right. The, uh, yeah, that's right. the Spider-Man is revealed as being Peter Parker. Oh, yeah, spoilers, <laughs> yeah, by the way. The uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's that, that's fair. Yeah, that's true. That's a big one. Yeah, it's a huge spoiler. Sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> so... I mean, it's been like a year, right? So, exactly. So. I mean, I don't know. What is the... Uh, what is the time limit on the spoilers thing here? Because I feel like one year is pretty <laughs> true. Um, but yeah, I mean, going back to episode one, I think the episode one has a lot of things that are kind of like intriguing. You'd see, you know, there, there are some weird things that happen in the episode. Vision is asking questions, so like he's in the office. He's like, what do we actually do in this office, you know? And... In all sitcoms, all the TV shows of that kind of style from like previous generations and things like that, you'd see people working, but you'd actually not know what they are working on, what is actually their job. It's just they're sitting in front of a computer doing things, you know. So, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, that's that fair. was good. Uh, good point that you know he was questioning the reality, like what it is exactly that we do. That was kind of intriguing to me when I first watched it, and I think. Um, also, towards the end as well, when the uh, boss and Mr. Hart and Mrs. Hart are there for the dinner, there's this very weird scene where Mrs. Hart is smiling uh, and just saying, stop it, you know, as Mr. Hart is choking on his food. And it just feels like... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, It just yeah. feels like That's she's true. just yeah. holding something back, you know? Like, it's it's very, very weird scene for me, that one. <laughs> when I first was like... And that's when I got a bit interested and in the end like when the end happened you zoom out and you actually see the real world someone is taking notes uh, the screen shows up you see that someone is actually watching that particular sitcom oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so things like that are kind of you know threads that oh yeah 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 that's so funny I, I totally forgot about the zooming out yeah. part um, when when you said it, I was like, oh yeah, that's true. I I actually like to say I I really like uh, Wanda and Vision together. Mm -hmm. Also, just like I usually come to Marvel for the action, but I love that they got together. It's mm -hmm. great. 
Um, yeah, I definitely – it would be nice to see them, like, happily, but that would be a bad show, I guess. <laughs> or they wouldn't get a lot of viewers. But, yeah, yeah, that was great. That's true. I totally forgot about that. I like how he was uh, asking questions. I thought it was funny that everything was named generically. I think the the name of the company they were working for was, like – I forgot what it was. It was just computational, like, like something really yeah, generic. computational ink, or something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was funny. I thought. Right. Yeah, I'm looking. I, I mean, they definitely sprinkled in some like, some interesting things. So I'm excited to like watch, you know, episode two for awesome. sure. Awesome. Uh, one quick question: What did you think about the uh, ad that was in the episode in episode one? There was like a man. I gotta remember. Ad that. for a toaster from Stark Industries. Just you know. Oh, oh. Yeah, that was that was a nice little uh, a nod to Stark Industries. Oh, what do I remember from that man? I gotta take notes. I don't remember. What was what was uh, what did you see? Uh, yeah, I mean it's just kind of weird because the one thing that uh, that I noticed uh, when I first watched it is the fact that everything in the entire episode is completely black and white, right? So there is this very kind of eerie beeping noise with the toaster as they are showing that it is made from Stark Industries, and red light is beeping. You know, there's a red light that is just on and off in there. <laughs> oh, that's so interesting. Wow. What, what are the, you have an incredible eye, Sajid. <laughs> I would not even have noticed that. Nice. Yeah, okay, that okay, is that's the funny. only thing that is in color in that entire episode. And that is why I, it just caught my eye when I first saw it. Oh, nice. I didn't even recognize that. Yeah, that's, that's a good point. I just thought it was, uh, I was like, what is this episode? This is the weirdest <laughs> thing. Totally forgot about the choking part too. Yeah, that was really eerie. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. All right, so let's watch. Uh, you know, yeah, let's, let's see where it. this goes. We'll just uh, go through the second episode and see. Um, we'll just try not to talk as much. We'll do some commentary uh, as we are watching it. We'll see how and how, you know what are the things that catch us off guard or anything like that. Um, so. Yeah, that's gonna be tough. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, you. You want to jump into this episode? Sweet, let's do it. Awesome. All right, episode two. Um, Here we go. Yeah, this particular part was kind of yeah really interesting. And this one, right here. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 I see, I remember. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I really like the fact that they have separate intro for every episode. Oh, nice. Yeah. Also, one thing I noticed <laughs> on this one. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. One thing I noticed on this one is that this episode, it looks similar, black and white and everything, but the contrast seems to be very different than the previous episode. It looks more modern you know this random laughing track <laughs> makes me just <laughs> oh look it's colored yeah there is an anomaly i wonder how that is shot. How would you make that particular object be color and everything else black and white? That's a good point. Photoshop or the video equivalent? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice, Joey. <laughs> She's on the game. <laughs> Sounds like a cult. <laughs> Good save. <laughs> oh shit. What? <laughs> ah, nice.
eyes. <laughs> color. Yeah. Hydra. Oh, Hydra. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah. Wow. Stronger is the guy who experimented a lot of mutants in comics. And he's also in X-Men movies as well. Uh, I think there's a Stronger in Age of Ultron as well who was experimenting on Wanda and her brother. Oh. Where actually are the children? <laughs> oh, good question. Oh, that's an amazing question. Okay. Oh. oh, I guess it's a magic trick, so that works so well. Nice. <laughs> Does that explain it? <laughs> Nobody knows how mirrors work, apparently. <laughs> He's supposed to go in. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Fakey. <laughs> Those gears are turning in opposite directions. <laughs> Dari could be the mean girls. Oh yeah. What? <laughs> it's gonna be Steve Rogers. Just shows up, finally awake. It's like Sleeping Beauty. She just had to kiss Vision, and then he's awake, and all the color comes back. Yeah. All right. I think that's the episode. Wait, are there? That's the episode. Okay. Yeah, I don't think there is any after credit on this one. Yeah. But in case I missed it in the past, let's just mute this and let it play. As we discuss. Okay. Cool. All right. So I just muted it. Well, we can read. We like can rewind if. Yeah. Sounds good. That's that's pretty crazy. I mean, let's see what happened. I got actually. I got a review here. So. Yeah. Where did it start? Oh yeah. I don't. I mean. I guess I. I know you already watched it, so I'll explain what I'm All thinking. All right. Good. I mean. Uh, the color thing is cool. Mm -hmm. Don't know why that's happening. Um, I mean, we got Toddy. She's mean. Yeah. <laughs> uh, interesting thing, like with the the radio. Yeah, it seems like a. It, if if I didn't know any better, it would seem like a like a Westworld kind of thing. You ever seen that? You ever seen? Yeah, Westworld? I've seen Westworld. Yeah. Yeah, it seems like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, they're like kind of trapped in there. Um, yeah, I mean that's what it, I mean. I'm just excited to see more of that. To see what unravels there. Okay. What could it be? There's like a beekeeper. Right. Seems like he was doing some kind of construction. Maybe he's part of like the entity that is trapping them into some kind of. Oh shit! I just hit my mic. Um, and tra trapping them in, into some kind of uh, you know, 
some kind of like simulation. Right. Um, I mean, it's just like I don't know. I'm just I'm just stealing these ideas from Westworld, so <laughs> I don't actually know. Yeah. What do you yeah. Think? I mean, it's definitely like there is so many different ways that it uh, could potentially go from this point on. It's pretty crazy. I think Subtle Hint is probably uh, more on the first episode where they zoom out and there is someone taking notes, so it looks like modern day world. Uh, on this one, it is a lot more. Like that kind of thing does not exist, but you still hear like that talk from the radio that happens. Feels like someone is trying to reach Wanda there. Uh, yeah. Someone is asking who is doing that to Wanda. And Wanda seemed confused. Yeah. But at the same time, when that scene with the beekeeper happens, looks like she was the one who was in control. She's just like, That's a good no. Point. And then practically rewinded everything you know that is a very good point yeah she was in control or it sounded like it i totally forgot that she said no that's true yeah. interesting uh, um but yeah but yeah um good i think yeah thank you uh, i think it's interesting that okay first of all <laughs> i just want to say i'm surprised at disney plus throwing in all these adult uh, or like relatively adult references um like in general i think i'm i mean it's they do it in marvel like you know slightly but like it's like this one's strictly disney i feel like when i hear disney i think kids yeah. you know so that's that's nice I and mean, they're broadening it to like a you know larger yeah. audience so cool with me i like it i think it's funny right um yeah but then also uh I, I want to say something. Oh, crap, I forgot. Go ahead. I, I totally forgot. No, I was wondering, like, I don't know if you know about this, but, uh, you know, the Deadpool series that's going on, part one and two, mm -hmm. that was initially produced by Fox. It got merged into Disney. So Disney owns Deadpool now. Uh, <laughs> so imagine Disney making Deadpool 3. Fully R-rated. Oh, man. <laughs> That's so you know I actually I actually didn't like Deadpool yeah. initially yeah. Um, because it had so much it was just I, I mean I'm I'm no stranger to like vul, vulgarness yeah. vulgarity whatever yeah. um, but um, I thought it was so much but then I watched it again I thought it was so funny <laughs> it's I mean Ryan Reynolds I think is just like Deadpool but, in real life yeah. or at least he's like putting that out there I think it's fantastic I think it's phenomenal he's like the same in all his like ads for like Mint Mobile and, and whatever else yeah so yeah. and it's like his liquor or whatever so he's yeah, great yeah, yeah i great. mean the uh, deadpool in itself is definitely his own like most of the uh, uh advertisement that goes out into deadpool and to actually make it possible ryan reynolds he had a lot of hands in it because they butchered deadpool in his first try he was pretty i don't know sad furious about that uh, have you seen x-men origins wolverine oh oh no <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh yeah that was i thought it was so great yeah. in the um in what is it deadpool the uh the what's it called like the set of the the, the credit scenes afterwards right. you yeah. know the post credit yeah. scenes and he like shoots him that was beautiful i thought that was so funny that's true yeah yeah wade with the exactly stitch mouth the lasers like the frankenstein's monster yeah yeah, yeah. exactly they just you know the guy who talks so much just shut them out what could go wrong <laughs> oh man yeah yeah that was weird and yeah, yeah I, but anyway exactly yeah we're not talking about oh, Deadpool <laughs> going back to this one yeah I think in Disney like this particular TV show is definitely feels much more I think there are a lot of darker themes here if you think like there are lots of implications that happens in this episode if we have watched Infinity War we already know if Vision is actually dead you know he was not dusted. He was not snapped out. He was not brought back. Reason is oh, dead. Man, you're dead. Right. You know. Oh yeah. Uh, wow. I f oh, man. I gotta do a review of that. I totally forgot. Yeah, you're so right. Yeah. Totally forgot. Yeah, that's true. Exactly. That's true. Vision is dead. I was gonna say that. Vision is. I mean, he's like the most like intelligent machine mm -hmm. in that in that universe right. so how could they like 
you know, make him, how, how could they basically put him in some kind of trans or some kind of simulation? Mm-hmm. Um, exactly. But, uh, oh yeah, that's a good point. So I guess it's just Wanda then. Oh, that's sad. Dang it. Totally forgot. I was hoping they'd end up together and live their life nicely or something. Dang yeah. It. I mean, one potential uh, just from this episode is that uh, it's possible this whole story happened between Civil War and Infinity War and this has nothing to do with what happened after Vision died. You know, there was a scene That's a good point. in Infinity War before Vision stone was, uh, they were trying to remove that stone. They were somewhere in Europe, I think, uh, you know, where Vision was attacked, yeah. Captain America shows up and all of that stuff happens. So they are definitely yeah. living together there. You know, so yeah, I mean, it's all completely out there. I know what's the storyline, but I'm not trying to spoil anything for you, but these are the possibilities, is okay. all I'm trying to say. Nice. <laughs> all right. Well, I guess we'll see which one is the real one. That's true. I'm trying to think of anything else that I can't. I kind of, you know what, next time I'm definitely going to, I'm definitely going to take all notes. Right. This is, this is, the recall is not there for me. Yeah, I gotta do that. Cool, cool. Yeah. That's a good one. And yeah, definitely, I mean, it feels like uh, there is some semblance of control for Wanda, Vision. If Wanda is actually controlling this, it also begs another question. Be like, if she's in control doing all of this, all this shit that's happening here, how powerful is Wanda, really? You know? That's a good point. Um, that's true. Wanda's powers have been like, honestly, I feel like it's just like a, what is it called? It's like a random bag of items. What yeah, it it's called? basically you called Chaos called. Magic that she does, uh, which basically oh. what that means she's not uh, exactly doing a lot of things that is like pure magic it's like hex magic that she does you know uh, which basically means that she can change probability of something happening in her favor uh, with her magical abilities not an mcu that is not something that has been talked about in mcu that is what is a what her yeah. powers are in comic books Oh, really? Yeah. I did not know yeah. that. Interesting. Is that, like, was that one, um, that one character who, like, had luck as a superpower mm-hmm. actually in Deadpool? Is that, like, a comedy or of that? Is that, like, making fun of that or something? No, she's, uh, she's mutant. Uh, so she has that power where it always favors her. She doesn't have much control on exactly how she does it or anything like that. On Wanda's case, she's the one who can do this, you know, herself. Uh, I see. Wanda is actually a mutant in comics as well uh, so it is a mutant mm-hmm. ability that allows her to do this and she's one of the most powerful mutants out there she's uh, I don't know how much you know about X-Men comics or X-Men lore or anything like that but she is extremely powerful what what is her level I remember the movies they used to like make it so that you were like a level right yeah I mean in the movies it doesn't go into much uh in, in terms of X-Men movies, we have Jean Grey, probably the most powerful mutant that is shown, and she's supposed to be an Omega-level mutant. Uh, and okay. it's a, you know, after utilizing Phoenix Force, that is. And Phoenix Force is not always part of Jean Grey, but she can uh, utilize Phoenix Force to do like Omega-level things. Uh, Wanda, on the other hand, is one of the Nexus beings who is even above that, who can control reality to their desire. What? <laughs> I didn't even know there was a higher level. Oh, that's so funny. What is it called? Nexus? Yeah, Nexus beings. He's one of the Nexus beings. Oh. Oh, jeez. Yeah, it was, you know, like... Wow, I didn't even yeah, know Yeah, how that. Thanos required the Infinity Stone to change reality to however he wants. He can do it with our mind. Yeah. Okay, you know what? <laughs> course they didn't put this in the movie they would have just won the war with her in it exactly so stupid i think what was she doing the coolest thing she did in that movie was die yeah. and in, that, in, yeah. in infinity yeah. war that's what happened i think right now she doesn't yet understand in infinity war like what her power levels are so she's still trying yeah. to figure out what happened because she's going through all these different tragedies throughout the movies first time she shows up is of ultron her brother dies and her power amplifies kills a bunch of ultron armies when that happens oh, uh, yeah. and next she's practically holding out Thanos 
single-handedly at bay as she is trying to destroy another infinite stone that Vision has, as she is trying to kill Vision. Oh, yeah, and Thanos, yeah, yeah. with five I, infinity stone, is charging towards her, and she is stopping by himself oh, as she is doing this. You know, oh, you know what? I totally, I don't, I goofed. I thought for a second Wanda was the one who got sacrificed. Uh, it's Scarlett Johansson, uh, right. Black Widow. She died. My yeah. I thought Wanda died, and then oh, duh. I was thinking, I was like, wait, how did she come back and then do the scene you were just talking yeah. about? Um, oh, duh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I guess that makes sense. You know what's funny? Just hilarious about that yeah. scene. Um, that Black Widow actually. Um, oh, I guess Black Widow was there too. Wow, I'm all over the place. I definitely need <laughs> to rewatch that movie. But Black Widow ran up to Thanos to try to stop him with her, her electric batons. Right. I thought that was great. Yeah, exactly. That was just a funny thing. Yeah, I like those kind of scenes think... because it's so that, you know, it doesn't really matter how powerful you are. It's all about, like, what you're willing to do, you know? Uh... <laughs> that's, yeah, that's a good point. Honestly, I mean, she could have just sat that one out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, or helped some other <laughs> Exactly. But, um, yeah, I mean, Wanda, even yeah. on, I think, Endgame, she could have ended Thanos single-handedly. She almost did it. Thanos had to oh, that's completely true. rain fire yeah. on all his army to just stop her from killing her, killing him. He was fully armored oh, up. Man. She was just like, you took everything away from me and just tearing Thanos apart. He just could not do anything. He was like, just rain down everything we've got. We need to stop this. <laughs> the classic in every movie and TV yeah. show, there's always like the, I'm going to take my time to do the thing that the entire movie is based on relying on it. I'm going to take my time right up until someone stops me yeah. every time every movie exactly I, I think yeah, but that, that's true yeah that is why like I think they are amping up her powers to go to the next level I think uh, the TV show is just exploring her power and capabilities what she's capable of uh, trying to actually she's not Nexus being once she gets there it's going to be much more different kind of challenge that she'll probably have to face to even have any semblance of challenge on what she's doing yeah. <laughs> that's true there's cgi will probably yeah. need a, some boosting as well yeah that's true yeah uh, yeah i mean talking about cgi as well like for the tv show the cgi that is here on both the episode has been so amazing it's like you don't even notice that there are effects that's going on um it's true we live in a great time exactly it's true and one thing i heard about making of wandavision is that yeah. so basically the idea why it is now in color just to explain that briefly the first episode okay. was set in 1950s um, era of a small town oh, so 1950s okay. sitcom is what you're seeing in the first episode the second episode is somewhere in the 60s early 70s and something like that that's when color tv started to pop up by the end of the episode yeah. now they are in the era where the environment is all color that other people can see oh, okay you know i actually thought of that and i was like eh, maybe because she got pregnant like super quickly yeah. i mean i don't know a lot about pregnancy and oh man um a lot about like pregnancy and how like fast it goes but i'm pretty sure you don't see like that considerable of a bump that soon i mean in a day so yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah okay that's a that's yeah that's fair. a good guess it doesn't happen i've gone through that a couple of times <laughs> but <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean it, that is that looks like somewhere around four or five months pregnant there in that scene. Okay. Um, so yeah, that is something that would be pretty interesting to see in the next episode. Um, in comics, this happens as well. She gets two kids, um, pretty much miraculously, uh, and a lot of weird shit happens, which I'm not gonna go into. We'll talk about that when time comes, <laughs> about those situations. Um, but it is also like a comics storyline, and there are lots of hints if you know about those storylines, but you don't need to know, you know. Um, I'm pumped. I'm pumped. This is, this is uh, I mean, I, I love the way they're unraveling mm -hmm. it, you know. Just like with other movies, I feel like, or TV shows. That's one thing with movies and TV shows. TV shows you can unravel a lot uh, slower, mm -hmm. and the buildup is considerable and it's usually worth it um at least with the good shows yeah. this is great i'm really excited for the next one awesome yeah. okay so uh let's say out of 10 how do you rate this episode mm, okay well actually you know what i like i like making a system mm -hmm. right so it's like what's a five here 
Wait, what's a 10? Is 10 the best show ever watched? Yeah, 10 is like flawless. You couldn't have asked for anything better and this is probably the best thing that you have okay. ever watched, you know? <laughs> All right, and then what's a five? Five is like uh, if you create a pros and cons of a episode, there were a lot more cons than pros and I would like, if this, if I have to watch this again, then I probably will not be as interested. Uh, for me, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. For me personally, anything below five, I would never rewatch, ever. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay, that's actually sick. Summer and I have a uh, uh, have a system of rating uh, restaurants, mm -hmm. and it's typically that. Like one is complete crap, yeah. but anything a five is a neutral. So I would say, like, if someone asked me to go, mm -hmm. I'd go. I wouldn't really have an opinion. Yeah. But anything lower than a five means I automatically wouldn't revisit. Right. Yeah. You know? I would just never go back. Yeah, um, exactly. Uh, so I guess same thing with movies. Yeah, so. same thing for me as well. Five is average. And thing about five, I consider positive rating. There were more uh, better things in the thing than the things that are not better in the. So you know, I would, I would be still be interested in checking out maybe one more episode. But if another episode is like identical, then it's gonna drop. Oh, interesting. Okay, okay. So hmm, with that rating, I feel like. Hmm, let's see. This episode or the show overall? Uh, let's say just this, this episode. particular episode. Okay, so I think for this one, um, we got a nice like unfolding of the plot. We saw some cool, interesting things. I feel like, yeah, this is going to be a solid, I think like 7.5. And the other reason it's not more than that is because I feel like it is a slow unravel, but like I, I guess... Uh, well, it's a slow unravel. It's a relatively boring episode, mm -hmm. but they like you know they 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 uh, what's it called? They like hinted at some things, so it's it's pretty solid, but it's still not like a nine. I'm sure we'll have several nines in this season. I mean, in this like show. Yeah. So nines and tens. Yeah, I think yeah. I'm on the similar boat. This is like seven seven point five out of ten for me as well, for the fact that just like you mentioned, there are a lot of things that I would probably skip as I'm watching this second time. Like, I don't need this, I don't need this, yeah. you know. <laughs> uh, there are yeah. scenes like that, and those things come from the fact that this is made in that sitcom style, which would have, like, filler scenes that are just there just to put laughing track in those particular scenes, you know. So there are scenes like that in, in here. That's true. And I'm not a big fan of any TV show that has laughing tracks. I just... <laughs> Nothing. I don't have any TV show that I've rated above five that has a laughing track in it. <laughs> that's really funny. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. Laughing tracks are. Does does Friends have a laugh yeah, track? Yeah, it does. And that is the highest yeah, highest okay. rated uh, <laughs> laughing track TV show I have, which is five out of ten for me. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, it's oh, Friends is a five yeah. out of ten. Oh my gosh, wow. That 5 out of 10, dang. You're a tough crowd. Yeah, I mean, things, I love a lot of things about Friends. It's just like, the laughing track just annoys me so much as I'm watching that. Just, <laughs> I just can't tolerate it sometimes. It's like, can you stop? Can you just, That's fair. Can you just remove this laughing track so that I can find out what is hilarious on my own, you know? That's that's a good point. Yeah, that's luckily most shows are like. I mean, I get, all shows are like that now. I feel yeah, like, so. exactly. That is why I that's love funny. Office so much. It's solid eight point five for me. Office. Uh, Dang, nice. And except like last couple yeah. of seasons, which I'm not a big fan of, but that is why it is eight point five. <laughs> but it is amazing. That's the kind of show that I love uh, in comedies. Nice. I love. Uh, what's it called? Modern Family is probably like number one for me. Top notch, hilarious. Yeah, um, I've always Modern Family. It gets. As well. Oh yeah, do you like it or no? You can you can tell me if it's crap. No, it's fine. It's a uh, it's uh, oh. like I said, Office is my best. Modern Family is okay. I would put it somewhere like seven out of ten or something oh. like that. Oh okay, that's 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 not too bad. Yeah, right. yeah, that's funny. Yeah. All right. So anything else to add for the episode? No, I feel like. I definitely am going to take notes next time. Right. Yeah, I think I need <laughs> I need to I need to be I feel like you have eagle eyes. Yeah. Uh you know, you noticed a lot of stuff I didn't, so that's that's really great. Um but yeah, it was a great episode overall. I really liked it. Um great solid episode 2, great unraveling. 
Um, looking forward to the next one. Awesome. Yeah, so am I. Two thumbs up. Great. Yeah, I'm looking forward to re-watching the other episode. I haven't watched it in quite a while now. I watched this as episode came out every week. So there are a lot of things like as I'm watching this, I was like, oh, I didn't notice that before, you know. Uh, because I know a lot more, I have a lot more information from other episodes to watch this through. Mm. So I watched this through a completely different lens. Like, I have this information, now looking back, now I notice this. Because this, I didn't care about this one, but now it looks like it's important. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah. So yeah, great. Okay, so uh, we'll do uh, another episode. We'll try to put that out as soon as possible as we do uh, these other reactions, other talks. Uh, and yeah, if you guys enjoyed that one, please uh, subscribe. It's a brand new channel that's forming up here. Me, Suzy, Akas, we'll be doing more of these kind of videos. Uh, and yeah, also give that like button a click as well. I would really appreciate it. Um, so yeah, come back for the next episode. We'll uh, see you then. See you guys.